Hi, and welcome to a new video. I want to continue a bit on the last kick video, where we left off here. I still want to continue on this layering method, as I consider it simply as the better and more flexible way. But nonetheless, there will be situations, for example in Psytrance, where you just want to use a complete synthesized kick. To get a better sound in Citrus, I forgot to mention in the last video a crucial point. Thanks to Tuveem for reminding me. Under the main tab, enable HQ envelopes for the draft mode, which is disabled by default. This setting increases the accuracy of the envelopes, which helps a lot for these rapid changes we need to use especially for the pitch envelope. And the sound difference is very noticeable. So please remember, if you want to use Citrus on its own for kick synthesis, always enable HQ envelopes for the draft mode. Anyway, in many situations and even if Citrus is capable of a big range of sounds, I find the layering method mostly easier to use and much more flexible to get a different character for the kick, which is mainly defined by the attack and samples are in this case faster to use than creating everything yourself with noises, FM and whatnot. The best plugin for kick creation in my opinion is Kick2 from Sonic Academy. If someone of you is interested in a really good third party plugin for this job, this is for me the way to go. This shall not be a review of the plugin, but I like to take it as ideal for my own creation with native plugins. Kick2 consists of the synthesis module with a pitched modulation envelope and an equally flexible amp envelope. On top of that, it got three sampler channels, where each of it has a number of controls and the same flexible envelope. Kick2 offers an EQ, a distortion module, a drive section for saturation, a compressor and a limiter on the output. So let's have a look how we can recreate the thing with native devices. Citrus can easily take over the synthesis part. We got the same flexible envelopes. It's a bit harder to use and it lacks of the nice visualization, but the results you can achieve are the same. I patcherized the Citrus instance by holding Shift, which gives us the same result as before. By building everything in Patcher, I can use one set of notes in the piano roll and can save everything in one file. I would really like to use the individual sampler channels for the clicks, but since the sampler channel cannot be used inside of Patcher, I go with the FPC. In the FPC, I prepare four pads as click samplers by setting them all to the same trigger note. But there's a problem. I need to hit C3 on my keyboard to trigger them, which plays the synthesized part of Citrus in C as well. Playing different notes trigger the wrong pads in the FPC. This is not what I want. One of the biggest advantages for the way I set up Citrus is that with one kick preset I can tune it to any key I like by just hitting the right key on my keyboard. To make further use of this advantage, I have to convince the FPC to follow along with this. I insert a key mapper before the FPC, set its root node to D and change all the nodes to C vertically. This let me play notes in between D3 and C sharp 4 on my keyboard, but still triggering the four pads of the FPC. I chose this key range because anything else doesn't make sense. C sharp 3 and C3 falling below 35 Hz, which makes them barely usable for kicks as their frequencies are simply too low. D3 with 36 Hz is already too low for my taste, but on the other side D4 one octave higher is with 73 Hz already too high for a kick. The most used and useful frequency range for the bottom of the kick is in between 40 and 55, 
perhaps 60 Hz. So from E3 to A sharp 3. Below and above sound weird. For what I have in mind, the kick machine until now works like I want it. I can play different pitches by using the corresponding notes in the piano roll and the FPC triggers with every note the four pads on the bottom. With no attack and a very short decay time, I can now use my first FPC pad for the initial click. My kick sounds now the same like it did before. I can adjust the volume or the pitch. What makes this way of creating kicks so flexible is that you can easily exchange the samples and by doing so, the complete character of the kick but it always stays in key. Simply drag a new sample into this little window and the whole kick sounds different. And you are of course not limited to kick samples. Choose from the whole range of percussive sounds, hi-hats, claps, snares, toms, whatever you like. Layer different samples. Use the noise from Citrus. Route the samples to separate outputs and treat them externally with EQ or saturation. or saturation on the bottom part to let it bang harder. A bit of limiting at the end. Maximus with its flexible bands does a very good job here. Adjust everything to your heart's desire. I prepared this preset here for everybody as a free download. The link is in the description. Enjoy your new kick machine, which you can use or expand in whatever way comes to your mind. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.